are again at West Point Multisport with Andrew and Andrea. We're going to get a little bit of uh, insight into cycling proficiency. Um, we're getting ready for the nine-day gear up for CF Ride from Vancouver to Banff. Andrea and I are doing the nine-day ride, so Andrew's here to help us out, get us tuned up and on the road. So now we're going to talk about cadence. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're riding, especially a long uh, ride like the gear up to CF ride which is 1200 kilometers is to keep your cadence up uh, pretty high so you want to keep it up around uh, 90 rpm that's really the benchmark that most people want to go for and that's that's what you want to uh, strive for so uh, a lot of people tend to use a much lower cadence and what you're doing uh, is you're working your muscles a lot harder with each pedal stroke one way to describe this would be um, if you could imagine someone trying to move a pile of bricks, if you try to move the whole pile at once, it's going to be really difficult. But if you move one brick at a time, you'll probably be able to move two or three piles. So the ideal average cadence that you want to go for is around 90 RPM. Of course, this is going to be more on flat or downhill sections. When you're climbing up a hill, the cadence is going to drop a little bit. But in general, when you can on flatter rides, you want to keep it up to about 90 RPM. Nice smooth pedal stroke. Uh, one way of uh, calculating this is to have a cadence sensor on your bike and so you can see your cadence on the computer. If you don't have one of those, then you can also calculate it by uh, looking at the time, if you have a watch or if you have time on your computer, and then counting uh, your, pedal straight, your, your pedal rate for about 15 seconds and then you can multiply it by four. Andrea here is pedaling at around uh, she's going at around 100 RPM right now, so it's kind of finding a bit of a sweet spot, but uh, 90 to 95 is probably going to be the best, uh, most efficient pedaling rate for the average cyclist.